What's up everyone? It is Scott here from the Gear Rules channel. Thank you all for joining us. So today we're checking out the Pioneer Carry Division Billfold Wallet. Now this wallet is super unique in its design and it kind of speaks to the founder Henry. He actually used to be an industrial designer for an outdoor company and at nights he was starting to tinker with his own set of wallet carry items. Now there's a lot to talk about. I'm going to be showing you guys Pioneer Carry's website and then we'll get into the high tech features of this wallet and we'll talk of course about my pros and cons list. If you guys like this video please smash that button just below this video on the right hand side and subscribe to my channel and you can follow me on Instagram. So without further ado let's go ahead and get into the Pioneer Carry Division Billfold review. All right, so as you guys probably know, I'm a big fan of showing off the company's website just to give you guys a little preview of what they have to offer. So this is Pioneer's website. They got a couple tabs, um, all of their products on one, as well as the technology, which I urge you to read up on. The one we're reviewing today has this uh, 10XD uh, material in it, but not all of them do. And this material is 10 times stronger than steel, which is pretty awesome. Um, so they got all sorts of info on how that works. They have a little uh, about from their founder as well as some journal blogs kind of talking about different things that they have to offer. And finally, we're talking about the division billfold. They have different colors, like I said in the intro. Some of them come with the 10XD, like the Onyx, which we are reviewing, but some of them don't. Some of them come with a slightly different material. Uh, the 10XD is RFID protected. I'm pretty sure the other material is not. Um, so lots of cool, earthy, neutral colors here. Um, and a lot of their, their other wallets have the similar colors as well. So that's just a little bit about their website. Let's go ahead and start talking about the Pioneer Division Billfold. All right, we're going to run through some quick facts before we do my pros and cons list. So as you guys probably know, this is made by Pioneer and they're based out of San Francisco, California. Now the material of these wallets is super unique. I haven't seen anything like it on the market. This particular wallet is made by their trademark 10XD material, which is a mixture of nylon and what's called UHMWPE, which stands for Ultra High Molecular Weight Polyethylene, which makes it super strong and durable material. This wallet really doesn't have a lot of wear after you know over a month of using it, which is really impressive. So we're gonna throw some cards and cash in here now. And the manufacturing cards do come with it, just giving details, like the fact that it holds six to 12 cards. The 10XD is RFID protected. Um, some of the other materials of the different wallets aren't. If you're not familiar with RFID protecting, uh, you know, if you have these chips, which most credit cards do, this particular wallet will protect your information from potential scammers. Now, the other card that comes with the wallet has a couple other facts. Like I kind of covered the material already, it just makes it super durable. It is a little bit slimmer than leather. Another cool thing is water resistant and more importantly, you can machine wash this wallet and it has up to a 10 year warranty, which is awesome. Now, I typically didn't carry 12 plus cards. I don't carry that many. I usually carry, you know, between five and eight. Today, we're just going to put six cards in to show you guys kind of how everything fits. Now this wallet does have a little bit of a break in period. Sometimes I struggle like right here to put the card in the slot. That's just because, you know, it needs to work in the cards and get used to that form. And then we'll throw some cash here in the wallet. Now there are two extra back slots here that I'm not going to put anything in here today, but you have that option if you want it. Now the division billfold has a very standard design. You'll see this in typical leather wallets where there's a cash slot as well as just card slots and a couple slots on the back. 
Um, this is my stereotypical dad wallet that I like to bring out and show you guys a comparison just to see how minimalist or compact it might be. Now this wallet does seem a little bit thinner. The material is thinner than your standard leather, but really not much uh, difference in size. I think overall it's a little bit more flat. All right, so enough of me blabbering on about the details of this wallet. Let's go ahead and start talking about the pros and cons list, starting with the pros. Now, the first thing might be pretty obvious by what I've talked about already, but I really love the way this wallet looks. Not only is it super unique and really doesn't match anything else on the market, but it goes a lot with my clothes. So I own a lot of outdoor gear like Melanzana's, Patagonia's, and um, North Face. And they all have these grid type patterns and stitching that kind of match with this wallet perfectly. Uh, like here's my raincoat. And it just all kind of fits together. So I really like having this wallet in my lineup. Definitely f goes with some of my outfits. Uh, so beyond just the, you know, matching my outfits, I just like how subtle the design is. It's very simple, but also very, you know, gets the job done. And the Pioneer logo is not super obnoxious, which I also love to see. Now, on top of that, the build quality is really awesome. The threading here hasn't frayed very much, I mean, at all. And, you know, I've already kind of covered the material. The material is super durable. There is a bit of a work in period, like I've already kind of discussed. But this wallet has not aged at all. And I really do think, you know, some people say it's going to last forever. I really think this wallet is going to last a long time just by the way it's aged over, you know, a month. The other thing I really like, you know, this material is machine washable. It's waterproof. So if, if I'm going to get some dirt or, you know, some sort of stain on the wallet, if that were to happen, I do have some peace of mind knowing that this wallet is water resistant and I can throw it in the wash and clean it. So that's a super nice feature. I wouldn't say it's waterproof per se. It does prevent water from going you know, inside the wallet, but I don't know at what point and it does seem to stick on the wallet a little bit. But I really like having that feature for going on hikes. It, it makes it easy to clean. All right, so now to the cons list. Now, coming up with the cons was not exactly easy. This wall is pretty durable, but one thing I noticed is that the cards inside kind of slide a little bit outside of their their depth here. So if you're having it in your pocket and it's jostling around or you just take it upside down and toss it, you are going to see some of the cards falling. Now, I never had a card fall out at all. It stays in very well. You kind of have to try to get it to that point. But that is something that is a little bit of a concern. And, you know, if you do pack more cards into one slot, it's going to do a lot less sliding. So it's something to be aware of. This might be a break-in period type thing, but if I just do it with a pack slot, the middle slot here didn't slide at all. So just something to be aware of. Just nitpicking here, like I said. And the other con I would say about this wallet is, you know, a lot of my wallets are minimalist. This one is not exactly minimalist. It's about the same size as your standard billfold. Maybe it's slightly more compact because the material is a little bit thinner. But don't expect it to be super minimal. Now, they do make a smaller just card holder that I've used before. And I'll have a review for this. And I'll, if when it comes out, I'll put a link down below in the description as well as a link to go to the website I showed you guys. But if you're looking for a wallet more compact, they do have those wallets. I just want to say for this one in particular, it's not exactly uh, super minimalist. So that about covers my pros and cons list, as well as the review for the Pioneer Carry Division Billfold Wallet. Really hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, please subscribe to my channel. I got a lot more cool content like this one coming down the pipeline. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, take care and be safe.